welcome back everybody to part four and the final video to the Native American inspired Deer Skull War Mask. A long title, but a pretty awesome project so far. We're gonna put it all together today. I got all of the carving done. Um, so we're just gonna move on. We're gonna try to, uh, I'm gonna try to move through the steps uh, as quickly as possible just to uh, get you to the final result and uh, hope you learn a little bit something on the way. So let's get started, started without any further ado and see how this turns out. is done as far as the carving, staining, and painting. Um, you will notice I did add some red paint up here on the antlers. I just thought it looked cool, kind of raw. It would tie it in together a little bit there. Add to the whole war paint thing. Now, we're gonna tie it all together. We're gonna use the, uh, the leather lace here. And I did order ahead of time um, these little, let's see if you can see there, um, they're coyote knuckle bones and my intention was to have to kind of make um, like uh, beads um, to go in between where the uh, leather would connect to the uh, skull plate and then each piece like add some beads in between there but they're just a little bit too small it's not gonna work out um, so I'm gonna try to find some other way possibly to incorporate them into the whole mask if not oh well I have a bunch of uh, coyote knuckles. Um, but anyhow, let's start putting it together.
Okay, you want to see it? There it is. All done, believe it or not. So I did do the feathers. I attached them, just hung them off here instead of having them stick up the back. It just wasn't practical trying to get them to stay there correctly without breaking off. Um, I love it. I, I think it turned out awesome. I, I used a matte finish um, on the entire thing. I, I didn't want to have like a shiny new look to it. Um, I kind of wanted it to look like uh, it had some use to it. You know, it's been in a few uh, ceremonies and it's been up in, um, you know, someone's attic for a while and they, they just pulled it out. So I kind of was going for that look. I think I did that. Um, I hope you enjoyed the process. I'm going to take some photos tonight. I'm not the best at taking photos uh, at nighttime, inside that is, um, but I'll, I'll put them up here just in a second. I will take better photos though, you know, a little bit more fancy ones. So if you want to follow me uh, on my Instagram, I will be posting those. I am giving this away, okay? Um, it's only, um, I'm going to put it together. I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that here in a little bit, but here are some final photos. Thank you everybody for hanging out with me and watching uh, the process of this war mask. Um, there's a lot of different things uh, tied into it, symbolism, uh, that I didn't necessarily cover in the video, but um, if you're familiar with some of the stuff, then you'll recognize what it is. Now, um, I am giving away the skull as I said. It's going to take me a little bit to set up the giveaway, but I will be posting that on my Instagram and Facebook. So if uh, this is October 2018. Uh, it'll be running for two weeks here in a little bit, so you have a chance to win it. Um, as always, or as uh, the past couple months, uh, I am doing another giveaway in the description of this video. I'm giving away this raccoon skull that I uh, did some doodling, carving on. So if you like that, uh, stained with some walnuts, um, you have a shot of winning it here in the next 24 hours. So thanks again uh, for hanging out with me, battling the mosquitoes here and stay tuned for the next video. Uh, I'm sure you'll like it uh, next week. All right, guys. Thanks again.